if any of you are looking to create ebooks or you know books for Kindle, Amazon Kindle to be sold on their marketplace, you can easily export them from Adobe InDesign by coming under File and choosing Export for Kindle. Now, this is not available, you guys, in CS4 or CS5. You got to get this free plugin, which you can find on the web, pretty simply. And let me go out and show you where it is. So if I go out to a browser, if you go to Amazon.com and you do a little search, you guys can actually search for something like Amazon Kindle Export or something like that. And you'll find the Kindle Publishing Programs. So if I scroll down, we'll see uh, Download Kindle Plugin for Adobe InDesign. Now, it's in beta, but it actually works for InDesign CS4 and InDesign CS5 on Mac and Windows. You download it, and you just double-click to install it. It installs it, and then you get that menu item. Now, you'll also see on this same page, there's a Kindle Previewer. So you can download a little Previewer, and the Previewer is just a kind of like having Kindle on your desktop so you can see what it looks like. So once you guys do that, that's kind of cool. Download that, install them. What we can then do is make sure... You know, you've got your do documents set up according to the Kindle publishing specifications. And if you don't know what those are, I go under File, choose Export for Kindle from InDesign. Once you guys install the plugin, that is, it's going to choose or make a MOBI file, M-O-B-I file for Kindle. If I click Save, in here you'll see that there's a lot of things we need to take a look at, like a cover image. You know, we can view it after we're, you know, we're done with it. We can insert things like table of contents, images, optimized, etc., and here are the publishing guidelines for you guys to get started. So at least you know what's going to happen. The first time you do this, it, it's kind of a shock, actually, because you're, everything's just running. And anyway, you guys will figure it out. There's a lot of resources out there for making ebooks, But I can go out then and say, oh, let's grab a cover image. I made an image out of the cover. It's just a quick JPEG. And I'll export it. Now, it's not going to be the best example, you guys, of exporting a, a book. You'll see a lot of things get left, uh, left off, and you'll see that, oh, table of contents was empty, so we don't have one, but that's okay. Usually you have uh, errors and things like that. It's trying to open it on Windows. It can't find anything, so I'll click Cancel. That's fine. I'll go out, and if you guys install that Kindle Previewer, you should be able to find that. You can go to File, Open to open the book, grab the Mobi file, open it up, and you'll be able to see your book in there. And there we go. Now, like I said, it's not going to be the best looking thing in the world. I got to do some formatting and things like that, make it look better. You get trial and error, you guys. You got to look at that specification for publishing and see how, you know, the best ways to do things. But at least I can see a quick, you know, preview of the book, see what's going on with it. And I can export directly from InDesign, which is pretty cool. CS4 or CS5.